my name is Brenda Coons, and I'm a dental hygiene online faculty for San Joaquin Valley College in the Bachelor of Science of Dental Hygiene program. I've been a practicing dental hygienist for 34 years, and in my decades within the career, I've been able to work in different uh, avenues within the profession. I've worked in public health, I've worked in private practice in a dental office, and I've also worked in education for many years now. Becoming an educator makes me the most proud, and I did that after 20 years within the field. I'm very proud of making that transition. I was then asked to co-author a chapter in one of the dental hygiene textbooks that's used nationally, and that was a very proud moment to be asked to be a co-author. I was also proud when I became the program director for a dental hygiene program in Northern California and uh, be able to administrate the program. And then most recently, um, hired on at SJBC to help with course development within the Bachelor of Science degree completion program, writing the three dental hygiene courses for the overall program. The first course is in dental practice management and you're going to um, learn about dental practice administration and it's where a hygienist can take on more of a leadership role and um, be responsible for practice management. So there's a course on uh, clinical teaching, which is um, one of my favorite, where they can learn about teaching skills, how to mentor students, and also how to learn about the national standards of dental hygiene and the protocols in place um, within the educational system. And then the third and final specialty dental hygiene course within the bachelor's program is the community health class. And that's where the students can learn how to be a director at a community level. So, uh, for example, many years ago when I first um, was a dental hygienist and I had my bachelor's degree, I was able to run a county health program where we developed lessons for the students out in the elementary schools on dental prevention or smoking prevention. At the higher level grades, we developed smoking cessation programs. There's all different community health programs out there that a dental hygienist would be a fabulous asset to their programs. And so the community course develops those skills for the students. For you to expand and grow and it, or possibly if you have to move out of a clinical environment and um, can't practice clinically anymore, you might want to be able to use your bachelor's degree to take you down a different pathway, being more in administration by running practice and practice management, or possibly by becoming an educator or in that public health field. There are many more opportunities becoming available for dental hygienists. However, they are starting to require a bachelor's degree. So I think it's important for students to, once they know that they're in that career field that they love and want to challenge themselves and expand and grow professionally, the bachelor's degree is the way to go.